The Queen thoroughly enjoyed sitting down with her grandson the Duke of Sussex to film a skit promoting the Invictus Games taking place in Orlando, Florida, in 2016, it has been claimed. In his newly released book Courtiers, The Hidden Power Behind the Crown, royal correspondent Valentine Lowe claimed Harry decided to ask his grandmother whether she wanted to take part in the clip after receiving an ironic video from Michelle and Barack Obama, at the time the US First Lady and President. The Duke was nervous about asking the late sovereign for her help, saying he didn't want to put her in an awkward position, Mr. Lowe claimed. However, he should not have worried, as his grandmother happily agreed to support him and, two days later, welcomed a film crew at Windsor Castle to carry out the project, Mr. Lowe wrote. The result was a memorable 40-second skit during which the Queen reacted to the Obama spoof video shown to him by Harry by simply saying, Oh really? Please. The clip was then sealed by the Duke facing the camera and, gesturing the mic drop, saying, boom. After the video was filmed, Mr. Lowe reported the Queen simply said, oh, this is rather fun. The Queen took part in a skit with Prince Harry in 2016, image, Getty, the Queen being greeted by Prince Harry during a joint engagement in 2015, image, Getty, delighted by the experience, Her Majesty reportedly added, people should ask me to do these more often. Mr. Lowe then quoted a source saying of the late monarch, she was wonderful. She was obviously quite happy with it, and wanted to support her grandson. She wanted to support the cause, and was up for having some fun in the process. In their video, Mr. and Mrs. Obama had challenged Prince Harry by warning him to be careful what you wish for after he had told them to bring it at the games. Behind the couple, who stood with their arms crossed, one of their servicemen did a mic drop, later imitated by the Duke, and said, boom. Read more, Kate praised by royal fans for perfectly handling heckler the Obamas visited Kensington Palace in 2016, image, Getty. Prince Harry and Barack Obama at the Invictus Games in Toronto, 2017, image, Getty, the presidential couple had bonded with Prince Harry during their previous visits to the UK and his tour to the US in 2013. During that visit stateside, the Duke was stunned by the Warrior Games, a Paralympics-style competition for US ill and wounded service people and veterans, and decided to launch a similar competition on a worldwide scale. The first Invictus Games competition took place in London in 2014, and saw several members of the royal family watching it from the stands. Prior to taking part in this video response to the Obamas, the Queen had already shown in another clip, this time supported by A-lister Daniel Craig. The video had been filmed for the opening ceremony of the London Olympics in 2012, and featured Mr. Craig arriving at Buckingham Palace and, as James Bond, escorting the Queen to the Olympic Stadium. Don't miss Prince William averse to Sussex's move as pick with Kate questioned, inside Harry and Meghan put spotlight on them. Expert says on Media Row, expert Kate sends special message to England's Red Roses for World Cup, video, Prince Harry created the Invictus Games, image, Getty, the Invictus Games 2016 took place in Florida, image, Getty, trending directed by Danny Boyle, the clip included a stunt man dressed like Her Majesty parachuting inside the stadium, only to later show the Queen and Prince Philip taking their seats. Most recently, the late sovereign, known for her sense of humor and wit, took part in another video, shown this time as the party at the palace concert part of her Platinum Jubilee celebration was starting. In the pre-recorded segment, the monarch hosted Paddington Bear for tea at the palace and, after the adorable character's mishaps, she pulled out a marmalade sandwich from her handbag. The skit ended with the bear wishing the Queen a happy jubilee, adding, Thank you Mum, for everything. Following the death of Her Majesty in September, the Paddington official account used this same sentence to pay respects to the record-breaking sovereign. Courtiers The Hidden Power Behind the Crown by Valentine Lowe was published on October 6 by Headline.